The breeding program at the Cincinnati Zoo once earned it the title of the sexiest zoo in the country. And it's not the birds and the bees that bring crowds of people to the zoo each year. It is the babies. Local 12's Sydney Benter shows us what to expect from the 30th annual Zoo Babies. X marks the spot, or the stork does in this case. The Cincinnati Zoo's newest additions are ready to make their debut. Some of the stars are the African painted dog pups that were born in January. It's rare to find a litter of this endangered species in captivity. The most beautiful wild dog species in the world with their colors. But the babies have those same colors, and believe it or not, the keepers can tell all 10 babies apart. The pups have Batman themed names like Riddler, Alfred, and Bruce. They're not the only new kids on the block. The lion cubs are a crowd favorite. Now they're about five months old and very big, and very boisterous. Among the cutest things is sometimes they'll climb all over their dad while he's resting. A little bit like human families. Overcome with warm, fuzzy feelings looking at all these babies? Don't worry, Thane Maynard says it's natural. In fact, mammals are in, programmed, in essence, to care about baby animals. One place at the zoo where babies are noticeably absent is the polar bear exhibit. A polar bear hasn't been born in captivity in the last year. Volunteers here at the zoo are monitoring the exhibit to see if any mating happens. If not, researchers here at the zoo are exploring alternatives. Many of the babies that are at the zoo likely won't stay for long. They'll be sent to other zoos for breeding and genetic reasons. But you have until the end of the month to get your fill. At the Cincinnati Zoo, Sydney Benter, Local 12 News. Oh, so cute. There are more than 20 zoo babies this year. Staffers say they are most active in the early morning hours. The gates open tomorrow at 10 a.m. if you want to head out.